Hello dear students, today we are going to solve exercise 2.5 and before that we have to learn which operations. Okay, in this exercise we have to solve some story sums. Okay, now we should learn where to use which operations. Okay, so before that let us know that out of four operations, the two, two operations are inverse of each other that means opposite of each other for example addition is inverse of subtraction that means opposite of subtraction and same way subtraction is opposite of addition then multiplication is inverse of division and division is inverse of multiplication you may have noticed for example 2 plus 5 is equal to 7 it can be also written as 7 minus 5 is equal to 2 or 7 minus 2 is equal to 5. Look, they are opposite of each other, right? Same way, if we divide 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5, or we can also write 10 divided by 5 is equal to 2. Okay, same way, 5, 2 is a 10. So, look, this way they are opposite to each other. So, now to decide which operation to follow, always remember, for example, a plus value. When addition move right to the equal sign, it turns into negative. And when a minus negative sign comes left to the equal sign it become positive sign or plus same way a multiplication sign when it goes to right to the equal sign it becomes division and when a division operation comes left to the equal sign it become multiplication okay I don't want to make it complicated so let us see how to find out now look at question number one what should be added to 6480 6, so question is that with 6480 what should be added which number should be added with this number to get 10,583 okay to get 10,583 5, 10, so we have to find out that number okay so to find this number we have to do an operation right without any operation we cannot get so in right side we have only 10,583 so what we will do we will bring this 80, uh, 6480 to the right side. And I told you when a plus sign moved to the right side, it become negative sign or minus. So when this will come right to the equal sign, it will become minus 6480. Now let us, let us find the answer. 3 minus 0 is equal to 3, 8 minus 8 is equal to 0, 5 minus 4 is equal to 1, 10 minus 6 is equal to 4. That means the answer is 4103. You can also check this number because it is given now what should be added to 6000. Let's, we found that 4103 can be added with 6480 to get 10583 let us see is it correct or not yes it is correct isn't it so now look at the next question it's given that sum of two number is sum of two number is 16593 
sum of two number is sixteen thousand five hundred ninety seven. Okay, now two numbers are there. When we add this two number, we get sixteen thousand five hundred ninety seven, and it is given that find if one number is nine thousand five hundred ninety seven. And out of there, one number is nine thousand five hundred ninety-seven. Find the other number. Now we have to find out this number again. Same thing to find this number. We will bring this number here, and it will become minus because when plus come to right side, it become minus seven. So sixteen, then five hundred ninety-seven minus nine hundred five thousand, or five. Sorry, nine thousand five hundred ninety-seven. Zero zero zero. This um sixteen minus five is equal is equal to seven. So answer is seven thousand, right? Here yeah, question number three is homework for you. Okay, question number three, not four. Question number three is homework for you. Please find it out. Now, in question number four is given that the product of product means the operation is multiply. Okay, multiplication. The product of two number is six thousand twenty five. If one number is twenty five, find the other number. It is given that product of two number, two number is multiplied with each other, and uh, product we got six thousand twenty five, and it is given that one, one, one of that number is twenty five. Okay, one of that number is twenty five. We have to find the other number. <coughs> Always remember when this multiplication sign goes to right side, it become divide. That means to find this number, we have to divide sixty twenty-five divided by twenty-five. Okay, this is the answer. Twenty-five, twenty-five ones are twenty-five. Twenty-five twos are fifty. Let's add. Twenty-five fours are one hundred. Twenty-five. Twenty-five ones are twenty-five. Right. So answer is one hundred forty-one. That means the other number is one hundred forty-one. So in case of division, the rule is little bit different. Okay. Generally, the opposite of division is multiplication, but uh, in division, it direct uh, it doesn't happen that sometimes. We have to multiply and sometimes we have to divide. Now let us know where to multiply and where to divide. So we know the structure of division, right? Dividend, the number the which we are going to divide, that is called dividend, right? And the number with whom we are divide dividing, that is divisor. And the answer we get that is called quotient, right? So to find divisor, we need to divide, and to find Dividend, we need to multiply. Understand? It depends. If you are finding divisor, then you have to divide. If you are, if you are finding dividend, then you have to multiply. Now look at the question number. Question number five. So question is that a number is a number. So here is a number. Okay, a number is. When mul oh it was oh I think it was multiplication wait 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 whatever no problem a number when multiplied a、uh, multiplied by thirteen gives eighteen thousand eighteen hundred twenty. Okay, a number when multiplied by thirteen, it gives eighteen hundred, and it was it it is multiplication. Okay, not of this one. So let us find this one. 
very simple right to find a number when multiplication goes to that side it become division so divide it 18 20 then 13 <coughs> 13 ones are 13 so it gives 52 then 3 4 is the 12 it's carry 1 3 1 4 1 the 4 plus 1 5 52 so the zeros come put the zero and buff okay so the answer is 140 right now question number 6 by what number should 153 be divided it is asking that 153 should divide with which number okay by which number by which number by which number 153 should divide it to get 9 as a quotient understand it is asking with which number we will divide this 153 to get the quotient as 9 that means it's very clear what we have to find out we have to find out the divisor right we have to find out the divisor and to find divisor we need to divide so what you will do simply change the place of 9 change the place of 9 with the number understand <coughs> now divide 153 divided by 9 9 ones are 9 9 two is 16 so we will give one time 9 ones are 9 63 and we know that 9 7 is a 63 right so answer is 153 divided by 9 is equal to 17 that means the number is 17 clear now look at question number 7 a number when divided by 13 it is given that a number when it's divided by 13 gives 109 clear a number when divided by 13 gives 109 so it's clear what is this this is dividend and to find out dividend what we have to do multiply to find div to find dividend so number is equal to 109 into 13 let us find this out so here 9 3 is a 27 carry 2 0 3 is a 0 plus 2 3 1 is a 3 9 1 is a 9 0 1 is a 0 1 1 is a 1 7 9 plus 2 11 it's carry 1 so become 4 and 1 right that means answer is 1417 clear do you understand this please do this homework and practice it okay bye bye thank you